Hi everybody, it's Dawn and welcome back to Indigo Bohemian Art. And I haven't done a bottle bottom pour in ages, so I thought it's time to revisit that. Last time I did it, I used a water bottle bottom and this is a two liter, we're in Canada, a two liter um, pop bottle bottom. And I have over here white, blue, purple, pink, red, light blue, and orange. I think I'm just going to pour them individually. I thought about doing a dirty cup, but no, we're just going to pour them individually. So let's just hop right in. It's strangely satisfying watching that paint run down to the canvas. I don't know why, it just is. <laughs> Looks like a big spider. But it's interesting how the paint pools on the canvas. I think we'll go white next. This is actually a mix of a flow acrylic white and metallic white, so hopefully it will dry with a nice sheen to it. What color do we want next? Um, maybe a little bit of pink. Once again, I'm working mostly in cool colors today, but I did mix up some orange, <clears throat> which use not next to the blue because we don't want it to be muddy <coughs> pardon me it's starting to warm up here in Ontario and with the warmer weather comes my spring allergies A little more white again. Maybe we'll switch to red. Although this is an easy kind of pour, it tends to be one of those humanly satisfying ones. It's just very interesting because there's a lot going on with five different points of contact with the canvas. It's just kind of neat. I'm gonna go white again and then the orange. Try not to get any mud today. Since we have blue and orange in our painting and they're complementary colors and orange and blue will not look oranger or bluer than when they're next to each other, which is why they complement one another. But if you mix them, you make a lovely shade of muddy brown. And that's not what I'm feeling today. I don't know if you can hear it. I can hear it, but maybe the camera's not picking it up. But my cat was outside the door for the last painting. And my daughter is over, so she and the cat are sitting off to the side. And the cat is just purring up a storm. He's a very happy boy because he gets to be in the studio with the peoples. If you have pets that like to be around when you're painting, why don't you drop me a comment and tell me about it? I like to hear about your pets. We all love our fur babies. I think that's pretty much the end of this blue, so. We'll get as much as we can out. Set that aside. <clears throat> An interesting combination of colors. Try to get most of this paint poured over the 
bottle bottom and then we might tilt a little bit we'll see what it needs i think it's the end of my purple too some of this paint was left over from a different painting and i just mixed up a few other colors to go with it so nobody likes to waste their paint back to white i think I think these bottle bottom pours are my favorite ones to watch other people do. Yes, there's just so much visual interest. Oh. What next? I guess blue. That's an awful lot of this blue. I wasn't going to put it in and it's like, eh, you know what? It might look nice. Or am I not? <laughs> Just one of those things. I'm definitely not going to put orange next, so let's put some white down first. A little bit of orange. Or a lot of orange. We'll save some of that for the center if we need it. Some red. We need the red. So I've got blue, pink, and white. So I think we're going to go white. Definitely. Then blue. It's just I'm going to put orange in the center. I don't want the blue next to the orange. That's the end of the blue. That was a little thinner than some of the other ones. Okay, so good. White and pink, a little bit of white. A little drip off, finish the pink. Set that aside, a little more white. Maybe we'll see a little bit of white for the center too. All right, well, we're going to let that drain off the bottle bottom for just a minute while we try to pick it up and take it away. I just realized I have no place to put it, so I think I'll put a piece of paper towel down for just such a purpose. It's still draining very slowly. And either I'm not centered or my table is tilted this way a little bit. When I clean, I knock it around and I have little, little bits of wood that I put under the legs to level it. And sometimes, sometimes the cat leaves with those. So what are you going to do? All right. So I'll lift this up and move it over. That was not very graceful. The paint's going to move in a little bit here right now. because it was sitting thick next to the bottle bottom. Got some, got some different colors here. So maybe we'll just put our orange in the center while waiting for that to flatten out and then we'll give it a tilt. tiny bit of white left in here so why not <clears throat> what is more 
just ever so slightly. Try to fill it in the middle just a little bit before we work on these petals. Just go slow. And work it back the other way. I think my oven liner is not quite big enough to tilt over. It is what it is. So now we've filled in the center. And now, I need to stretch these rings out. Maybe we'll go corner to corner now. And I'm just going to catch the corner just so we don't lose too, too much of the paint. And back to the center. And we'll go this way. I have found that unless you use enough paint to just cause your bottle bottom pour to run off all the way around, you end up having to tilt, <clears throat> excuse me, and your flower shape gets pretty distorted. And sometimes it can look really neat, and other times it's like, wow. Oh, I'm stuck to the bottom. Let's, let's just go this way. We lose our flower shape, that's all right. There's lots of colors. Lots of lines to stretch out here, so. If it doesn't look like a flower, it'll be okay. It can still be a very interesting piece of art. And then back to the center again. My flower is looking kind of wonky now. <laughs> and then we'll have a little paint this way. Because even if you don't keep the flower shape, you've still layered the paint in an interesting fashion on the canvas. can still look really cool. We've got these sections with that have a lot of striping in them that are kind of interesting to look at. I'm trying to get the heavy paint back to the middle but oh <laughs> I'm just gonna move this aside for a second. The drips look really cool. So I don't know if I want to stretch that much more. Definitely doesn't look like a flower, but that's one crazy design. So, just going to touch up the paint on the corner here a little tiny bit where I didn't, oops, my glove is dripping. No, I just moved that. Alrighty, we got some cells forming because of the flow trail, so I'm going to slip my gloves off and grab my torch. These are non-powdered and they want to stick. Ah. Where's my torch? There's the torch. And we'll see if we can pop some more cells. While we're getting our air bubbles. Oh, oh, I like what's happening there. So maybe we'll hit that a little harder. See all the little ones forming? Uh, I think that's cool sometimes. Okay. 
I'm happy with all of this except for we got a big chunk of yellow and a big chunk of white. So I'm thinking, whoops, I'm thinking I'm going to scoop some paint from under here and drop it in the middle just to add some interest right here. Maybe we'll just draw it through. See, isn't that cool? Sometimes when something's not quite right, you can make it look better. <laughs> okay, I don't think I want to play with that anymore, so I will be back with a close-up in just a minute. Hello again. I am back with a close-up. Isn't that kind of funky looking? I'm going to bring you in. So we have a little more cell action happening around the edges where the paint was stretched a little bit more but i like it like look at that look how funky and colorful that is and we have a few spots like that so that adds a lot of interest to the painting the orange and red up there look really nice and i love these stripes between the petals the petals that are long gone and then in the middle Instead of having that blah looking orange and white spot, now we have a little starburst in all the colors. So there you go. A bottle bottom pour because we haven't done one for a while. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate that you took some time to spend with me and my art. Now before you go, be sure to hit like and subscribe and maybe check out a couple other videos. There's quite a few here. Thanks again for watching. You have a super day. Bye for now.